you've ever wondered what it's like for a family of six, four young kids to be on vacation for a week, <laughs> then you're about to find out. We are just pulling in at Sarasota, Florida, and first stop is the beach. goodness we are just drinking up the sunshine I cannot explain what sunshine does for me I just oh it's so therapeutic <laughs> anyway we had a super fun time at the beach yesterday and then I guess we're still learning a little bit the ins and outs of traveling in an RV it's been so nice having our own beds to sleep in and being able to cook a lot of our own meals so far we've only eaten out once since we left home which is actually on Valentine's Day but that's been really fun however we didn't think of booking a place to park the RV and that's been a little bit of a doozy like a week or two before we left we're like wait maybe we should actually book a campsite or you know something like that I apologize for the angle I don't have very good places to put the camera in here but anyways so we were like maybe we should actually book a place to park like we're not we knew that Pinecraft area especially just is packed this time of year and so we started looking around like the whole Sarasota area and like everything is just jam-packed full even like state parks everybody was booked out so then we're like 
Oh, <laughs> we probably totally should have booked something. Anyway, we got here and I grew up traveling a lot and we would travel in the bus and stuff and you can just park at Walmart's a lot of places but they don't have hookups obviously. So we were really hoping for a place last after we left the beach yesterday which oh, was so nice. I think we'll just spend as much time soaking up the sand in the sun at the beach as possible. But we left there and came over to Pinecraft which by the way if you need a beach recommendation in Sarasota, we love, I think it's South Lido or is it Lido? I'll put it on the screen here because um, there is a difference, but the, the one that we discovered last year when we were here, they have a beautiful like playground for the kids and then the actual beach is really nice. Like they have nice white sand, but it's not as packed as like Siesta Key. But you have a lot of like older people here, beautiful water and anyways, we really have fallen in love. You can park really close to the beach and stuff. So very ideal place to take a family with young kids. Anyways, but after we left there, we were looking for a place in the evening where we could possibly stay and I was just specifically praying that God would provide a place for us. But yesterday we parked in this like kind of like a shopping complex and this older Amish gentleman um, rode his bike up and Josh went out and talked to him and anyway it turns out he knew of someone in Pinecraft that had a couple of RV spots on their yard um, so he took Josh over there and sure enough it was open exactly the week that we're here so day or two after we leave they have someone coming again but this exact week was open they have all the hookups we need they have a dump station and it's exactly in the area that we were hoping to stay in so that feels like such a gift that's where we're parked right now and then we need to head out here in a little bit I forgot sweaters <laughs> for a couple of us so we'll probably just swing by a thrift store and while the weather is beautiful which let me show you the weather because it's worth celebrating this is our weather forecast we'll be here till Monday sometime and so it's just a lot of like today and tomorrow are 80 or lower 80s and then it'll get to like mid 70s upper 70s again anyway like every day is sunny so really excited for that oh yeah so where I was going the evenings can still be a little bit chilly so I need to pick up a couple of sweaters at a thrift store this morning and then I think we'll pack a picnic lunch or maybe we'll grill hot dogs I took some along from home the kids it's been so fun watching the kids I feel like this stage of our kids you go into vacation with a totally different mindset than you did like as young marrieds or as teenagers and it's all very focused on making it fun for them but in return it's so rewarding as a parent to see like that joy in your kids faces so anyways they are loving it and we're all having a really fun time so far so cheers to day number two you ready? successful haul but I got a couple things picked up these shoes for Hudson and then of course the reason for going a sweater for Kyra and then we got another t-shirt for Hudson this cute little gingham top for Abby and another t-shirt for Hudson and this jumper for Abby cute little buttons down the front 
And then the kids each picked a sand bucket as well. I thought. I think so. Hudson, this is your answer. Do you have a snow? No, Do you have a cloud? Thank you, Ari. Good, good, good. I got this so we can have a little more water. So this is where other years we've seen alligators some. Um, they seem to be hiding today, uh, which is a little bit disappointing for the kids, right? <laughs> you really wanted to see the alligator too, right? But you love your little bike ride. So we're going to head over to the park now so they can play a little. Yeah, should we go play at the park? I'm needing to do a little bit of brand photography today. One of our last days here, it's actually a lot cooler this morning, but I have my handsome photographer back here and all the kiddos, but I have to show you these grounds. This is, uh, what's this place called? St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. Okay, so that's where we are. They have, it's called a meditation garden, but all, it's, open to the public it says so anyway beautiful it's not really big but it's gonna definitely be enough for what I need today and me and Kyra unless he well me and Kara at least to take oh. pictures <laughs> yeah they like to take pictures as well I wonder if I can even get my camera out Oh. 
Abby, can you take a bite? out to one of our favorite little ice cream places here in Pinecraft. It is called Anna Mary's and such a cute little ice cream trailer. We're gonna bike over and grab us some treats. How is it guys? Good. Good. Goody pudding. Putty and pie. <laughs> oh no! Abby's biting her car. Oh, did she? got my arm. <laughs> oh, dude, look it on the top. Look it on the top. Who's biting me after me? Oh, you're skin. To today I went out and biked over to a yard sale and actually met up with Lynette Yoder which I'm sure a lot of you probably already know and love but if you don't you should definitely go check her out she is a Mennonite mom of four shares a lot of homemaking content and is amazing at home decor and stuff like that so anyways she has been a huge inspiration to me she's done YouTube quite a bit longer than I have and just has been such an inspiration to me through my journey with YouTube she has answered so many questions with, for me and given me so much encouragement in fact I think I probably would have given up had it not been for her so <laughs> huge shout out to Lynette and was definitely a highlight of the morning to get to catch up with her just a tiny bit it was way too short anyways we are heading off to do some kind of homemaking stuff on the road I guess which is laundry we have a couple big bags of laundry so that definitely is deja vu of my traveling singing days but should be good knock that out and then I think we're heading back to the beach once again I feel like that's basically what we've done so far but today is the last like 80 degree day 
according to the forecast I think it's supposed to be like upper 70s still the rest of the time so it should still be fun but we are really just soaking up what we can with the warm weather right now I hope you've been enjoying just the little snippets I feel like on this trip I have not caught nearly everything on camera that I was hoping to largely because of two things one because I actually left my little vlogging camera at home so anything that I'm trying to do is on this kind of like DSLR size camera which I love to use at home but is not ideal for taking places and especially with, <laughs> when you are juggling four kids in busy places so anyways we went to a beautiful buffet the other night with Josh's grandma I was hoping to film parts of that Abby ended up not having it she was like bawling we ended up just taking turns eating the last part of it because she just she was just peopled out so anyway I'm sorry if this kind of ended up being boring last year we went to a lot more places as far as more touristy things I felt like but this year we spent so much time at the beach and I feel like it fits exactly what we needed as a family which is just a lot of just time unhurried together and more restful than hopping from one thing to the next after being in such a busy season at home. So it's been just what we needed, but I hope it was still enjoyable for you to watch and follow along with. Anyways, it's been a really good trip. We're excited to go home. My family is actually planning to get here the day that we get home so we are so excited for that by the way we've so been enjoying all this fresh produce strawberries are in season right now as well as oranges and grapefruits of course anyways i am gonna finish cleaning up here need to sweep the floors and then uh we'll head out again <laughs> for joining us on our Florida vacation a large family style and very relaxed kid-friendly style I would say I hope you enjoyed following along thank you so much for being here and I will look forward to seeing you next time bye friends golden, golden thing.